here we will see returning modified date and time values functions in sql server first is date add this function is used to add an integer value to a date part of the input date and returns the new date value general syntax is date add with parameters date part number and date for example if we give the query select date add with day comma one comma get date it will add one day to the current date if we give the query select date add with parameters month comma one comma date add it will add one month to the current date and select date add year comma one comma date comma get date will add one year to the current date Next is EO month. This function is used to get the last day of the month with the specified date and optional offset. General syntax is EO month start date comma month to add. For example, if we give select EO month get date, it will get last date for the current month. And if we give select EO month get date comma 3, it will display last date for the month which is after 3 months from the current date. Next is switch offset. This function is used to modify the time zone offset of a date time offset value and preserves the UTC value. General syntax is switch offset with parameters date time offset comma time zone. For example, select switch offset get date with time zone minus 08 it will display date and time with new time zone to check different time zones use the command select star from sys dot time zone info next is to date time offset this function is used to change the date time to value into a date time offset value general syntax is to date time offset with parameters expression and time zone for example select to date time offset get time with minus 180 will display the output date time with new time zone then we'll execute these queries first we'll display current date so we can check the change in value and then we'll use date add function. So select date add. We'll give interval day increment by one. And we'll use get date as date after one day. And if we execute this, it will add one day to the current date. We can use this function with table also. Select star from employee. Before this, we have to use the database. And I'll display data from the employee table. So select star from employee. And we'll use date add function for the joining date field. So select date add day comma one comma joining date as day after one day from employee. And when we execute this, it will add one day to the current joining date. We can display the current joining date also. If we execute this, it will display previous joining date and day after one day. That is, it will add one day to the current joining date. Then we will see EO month. So, select EO month with get date as end of month. And when we execute this, it will display last date for the current month. If we give select EO month with get date comma 3 as new eof and when we execute it will display last day of the month after three months from the current month we will use this with employee table so select joining date comma eo month joining date comma 3 as new joining date from employee we will comment this and we will execute this. It will display current joining date after adding 3 months to the current joining date. Then we will see switch offset function. Before checking the switch offset function, first we will see different time zones. For this we will use select star from sys dot time zone info. It will display information for different time zone offset. Then we will see switch offset function. So select switch offset with get date comma minus 08.00 which is a time zone as result and when we execute this it will display the result with new time zone and then we'll see two date time offset so select two date time offset with get date comma minus 180 as result and when we execute it will display the date time with new time zone